<laughs> well, and so she interviewed you about being a non-traditional yeah. student. <laughs> I was 38 and everybody else there was 18 to 20. <laughs> was it going to NEO? Uh, at the, well, I did it twice. It was yeah. Crowder and uh, Missouri okay. Southern. Oh, Missouri Southern, yeah. Yeah. So. <laughs> yeah. And so did you go all the way through and get your degree there then? I got the bachelor's, I mean the art associates of arts at Crowder. Okay. And uh, Missouri Southern at You've my bachelor's, bachelor's. Yeah. and then went on to Pittsburgh to get my master's. Really? But uh, yeah. And so you uh, did all that whenever you were in your 30s, 40s? 38. 38? Started when I was 38. 38. Raised three kids and mm. got them all out of the house. And so you were in your 40s when you got your master's? and. Oh yeah, I was, yeah. Let's see, I was 41 when I started my first year to teach. Yeah. And, uh, and back in those days, mm -hmm. uh, Newton County could go free if you took a full huh. uh, yeah. load. What, um, what was your degree, what were the degrees in? Uh, special ed. Special ed. Education. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So I, I went six yeah. years, well, not to, not to Pittsburgh, but I went to four mm -hmm. years on scholarships. Okay. And then after I went to Pittsburgh, I, got, I started teaching and going yeah. nights. Nice. <laughs> yeah. And how many kids do I, you have? Three. Three? Yeah. So, and how old were they when you started to school? Were they already grown and yes. gone? Mm -hmm. uh, Don Langford was married mm -hmm. and... Uh, Second son, Mark, was in college in Okmulgee and mm -hmm. uh, had a high school daughter at home, but she yeah. got married. And so after you got your master's, did you work in special ed in the schools or? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes. For how many years? 14 years. 14 years. Uh, Seneca and then uh, okay. Miami in commerce and Wyandotte. Yeah. Well, wow. That's great. <laughs> yeah. And when, and you retired then? I retired from uh, teaching at Wyandotte, but uh, the special ed kids were mainstreamed out into the regular classroom. Okay. And the library position come open at Wyandotte. So I got okay. my master's in library science. Really? And that's okay. when Leon asked me to be the church librarian. Really? So your bachelor's was in special ed, but then your master's was in library science? Or did you get two masters? Two masters. You got two masters. The state of Oklahoma wow. requires masters in special uh -huh. ed and library science. Really? So. Wow. <laughs> and so how many years did you do library work? seven yeah. years seven. and then my kids needed mm -hmm. a babysitter and I was 64 mm -hmm. years old and I retired and babysit. And wow. Never have regretted it. Yeah. Well, that's great. <laughs> I didn't know you had that background in library sciences. Oh, you, you didn't? Uh, if I did, I forgot. Mm -hmm. yeah. So Yeah, that's, that's why awesome. Leon asked me to. Yeah. Down at the old building. Really? You know? uh -huh. So how many years have you been working in the uh, library ministry at the church? 25 years. 25 years. Yeah. It was 95 uh, when I went back to school mm -hmm. to get the library of science, and that's when mm -hmm. Leon asked me to do it for okay. the church. And yeah. uh, we started down there in the old building. Yeah. And then, yeah. Uh, oh, what was it, five years ago? Well, the lady down at town at the library mm -hmm. volunteered, and I asked yeah. Brian if she would do it because she's yeah. so knowledgeable in the technology. Yeah. yeah. And well, so did you bring a lot of the books from the old building here? Um, or did you have to start over somewhat? Start over. Start over, yeah. That old library down at the old building was uh, <laughs> a storage room for uh, mm. Bible school supplies. Oh, yeah. And the old books were yellow and <laughs> brown and falling apart and outdated. I don't think yeah. we brought a book really? back. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> did you just left them down there? <laughs> I don't know what I don't, they did. I don't know what they did. <laughs> We're not recording, are we? <laughs> um, uh, well, <laughs> I don't know. Leon, uh, when I was down at the old building, mm -hmm. somebody donated a whole bunch of old Latin oh, books yeah. uh, of Bible mm -hmm. uh, knowledge, scriptures, yeah. and information. Yeah. yeah. I always wow. wonder what kind of those books yeah. written in Latin. Yeah. Who would read those and everything? Well, I think Brian knows some Latin. I don't know if he reads it uh -huh. like you know well enough to go through a whole book, but I don't know, I always I'm sure he could over time. I thought, well, <laughs> yeah. you know, that might have been more valuable than I realized. Yeah, at the time. it's hard to know. <laughs> <laughs> I like old books if they seem to have some history and some even some uh, you know wear to them. It's kind well, of neat to look at old. Books I like, like the that. old classics. You know, we've got mm -hmm. uh, Withering Highs, I believe, in the church library. Yeah. I believe that's one. 
to whom the bells toll. Okay. I believe we got in there. So yeah. it's the old classics that mm. you can't, they're out of print. Yeah. You need to hang on to them. Yeah. Do you collect any books yourself? No. No. <laughs> I love to read, but. Uh, yeah. Do you still all, read a oh lot? Yeah. Oh, yeah. What kind of books do you like to read? Well, you know, we all got our favorite. Yeah. And uh, <laughs> I like uh, biblical fiction. Okay. Yeah. Uh, do you have good. a favorite yourself? I tend to read more nonfiction, but sometimes I like to read a biography or, you mm -hmm. know, I have a, next to my bed, I have a um, biography on Bob Stoops, the Oklahoma football coach that mm -hmm. I'm reading right now. Mm -hmm. And so I read a little bit before I go to bed. And, We've got other yeah. uh, coaches, yeah. like football legends in some, the library. I've enjoyed some of those. And then uh, sometimes I'll read, um, you know, like a musician, their story mm -hmm. and some of them some some Christian and some non. Mm -hmm. I read one one time that I got. Somebody gave me a gift card for a, for chapters, mm -hmm. and I bought um, Eric Clapton. His story is interesting. Mm -hmm. Of course, it was a lot of drugs that he was involved in, mm -hmm. but he, um, you know, grew up in London with the Beatles and yeah. the, you know the Rolling Stones, and it was interesting for the sure. The Church Library has a lot of the biographies of yeah. a lot of people in there. Yeah. And what kind? What different kinds of books and genres do you have in the church library? What different kinds of books? Mm -hmm. Oh my goodness! Uh, well, the two basic is fiction and nonfiction. Sure. But in the fiction, uh, and that's usually the most popular, especially mm -hmm. with women. Mm -hmm. uh, oh, we got a lot of good authors of the mystery and the, mm -hmm. and the Amish and okay. romance. Mm -hmm. And uh, Janet yeah. Oak is probably one of the very popular and. Uh, mm -hmm. Joan, uh, not Joan Rivers, uh, <laughs> Rivers. <laughs> oh. <laughs> anyway, Angela Hunt, I'm, she's one of my favorites. Yeah. yeah, and you have some nonfiction too then, like Christian Life type books or yes, devotional lots. books? Yes, I, that whole side mm -hmm. of uh, yeah. the library is nonfiction. And I understand that you like to, a lot of the members like to come in there and use mm -hmm. the nonfiction and we got a nice table yeah. to sit there and study from them. And, uh, yeah. Just all, dictionaries, uh, mm -hmm. the reference type books. Yeah, and, mm -hmm. the books of the Bibles uh, yeah. in depth. Commentaries and things like that. Yes. That's good. So if someone's studying for a lesson or things like that, they could find yes. those books in there. Uh -huh. And then um, you have some videos or DVDs as well now? A yes, few? we do. Okay. Um, Christian that's, videos. That's came in since I've mm -hmm. been in there, and I haven't been not very knowledgeable about the videos and the yeah. CDs that's in there, but they are in there mm -hmm. and they're for check out if anybody wants them. Yeah. And, uh, and there's no fee for checking out books at the church no, library? No, it's all free. And, <laughs> and it, it's not confined just to the members. Yeah. Uh, I uh, know that when we had Holy Week, mm -hmm. uh, other people from other churches and in the yeah. town would come into Holy Week and they saw our library and they yeah. had checked out books yeah. from our library and they're very good about bringing them back and I'm so well, glad it's used by the whole community. Right. Not just our members. I guess that's the thing about having a library. If, if it's not used, it's really not a good library, is that's it? So right. It's nice and to see I that activity. I love to see everybody like to read and yeah. use those books. So. For sure. What do you enjoy personally about serving in the library? Oh, probably meeting the people. Yeah. I have Got to meet so many interesting mm -hmm. people and out in the community, you know, yeah. not just the members of church. And, yeah. And and then the uh, ladies that volunteer with mm -hmm. me, uh, we have such good fellowship. Yeah. We go mm -hmm. out and eat and meet in each other's home. We've been friends for 30 years, you know, yeah. and we just are really good friends. I really enjoy it. That's great. <laughs> what challenges come from serving in the library? Probably the biggest challenge for me is finding the correct material that they're wanting to read. Right. Uh, I like to leave a sheet of paper there on the desk for them to write down what they would like to okay. order. And that way I feel like I know it's going to be read. Yeah. So any church member could come in and write a title of a book on mm -hmm. there and you all and would try to find it? I will order it. If it's a, mm -hmm. if it's a church policy, it mm -hmm. has to be a Christian based. Okay. Uh -huh. Yeah. And, uh, and maintaining the library shelf. I hate mm -hmm. to throw away books so badly, and uh, yeah. <laughs> so, but they won't hold everything you need. <laughs> <laughs> right, comes in, so you have to maintain it and yeah. keep it 
Well, well, it's a big, nice library, but still, mm -hmm. there's only so much, so many shelves. Right. I so. think we have a circulation about of 1,500 books in there. Wow. So that's uh, great. I was going to ask you that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I think that's really nice for the yeah. church and town of Miami. <laughs> for sure, it's a nice library uh -huh. for sure. Now, what um, what needs do you have for the library? Right now, we're needing some volunteers. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, People to come and help. I think this last year with the virus. Um, mm -hmm. It slowed everybody down, particularly mm -hmm. me and the women that work in the library, mm -hmm. and uh, not getting get to come down and be yeah. there to maintain it mm -hmm. and order f for what people need. And uh, so we need volunteers, and yeah. there's always need for money, you know, to purchase new books. Uh -huh. and, yeah. Um, and I noticed that outside of the library, there are some books that people can take for a donation. And yes, do that sometimes. That's as well. one way we maintain the library shelf mm -hmm. is anything that hadn't been read for five or six years. We take it off the shelf yeah. and uh, mark through, void it, and mm -hmm. uh, take it off the yeah. computer inventory. And uh, yeah, they sell it for a donation. And mm -hmm. if they don't donate, that's okay too. <laughs> right. Yeah. Well, and like you said, it's nice just to have people reading and mm -hmm. to do that. And so, uh, volunteers to help, and, and what kinds of skills would they need to help in the library? Just be willing to come in and volunteer, and there's no set schedule, no set mm -hmm. hours, no set time. Uh, we, uh, we teach them what they mm -hmm. need to do, like wrapping the covers of the book, yeah. and typing up the cards for the hard copies of the inventory. And, uh, yeah. It's real easy, but we have so much fun doing it together as yeah. a group, and it's not hard work, it's just fun. Yeah. <laughs> well, and so volunteers to do those types of jobs, and then uh, donations to purchase new books, mm -hmm. things like that. Mm -hmm. Okay. And those are the main ways that people can get involved. Yes. Okay. You mentioned the uh, church policy for mm -hmm. um, buying books then, mm -hmm. and so they have to be Christian books or at least kind of have the uh, themes that we would agree with yes, as a church. Yes, there's a library committee okay. consists of the minister mm -hmm. and the staff and, and anybody wants to be a volunteer on the committee but yeah. to make sure that we have Christian based material in there that's yeah. not offensive to anyone. Yeah, I'm sure that's difficult sometimes and you can purchase books in so many different places right now. Well, it's not so much as the ordering that's the problem, it's the donations. And oh. it's almost impossible to read all the books that come in right. that's donated. Right. So some get past us and mm -hmm. some of the readers will yeah. bring it to, to your our attention. attention and yeah. we took it off the shelf. Yeah, yeah. Well, as long as people come in knowing that you're doing the best you can with yes. and volunteer time too, then that helps. So. And it's never been anything very offensive anyway. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's good. So in the library, you have all the books, but then you have some archives as well, right? Yes, okay. yes. Now the archives ministry um, collects information from past years. Tell us a little bit about that, I guess. Yes, uh, I think the archives is probably mm -hmm. the most interesting. And mm -hmm. my I'm not thinking it might be the most important part mm -hmm. of the library. I just think archives, that's your history that you go yeah. look back on. Yeah. And it's so important for anyone to be able to come into the church and find out if a family member, when they might have had births, weddings, mm -hmm. deaths, all of that. Baptisms. Yes, yeah. baptisms, yes. And, uh, and we've got lots of pictures. Mm -hmm. And uh, all that information's in the computer and mm -hmm. it should be easily drawn up. Anybody wants to ask questions about it. Yeah. And uh, the format is uh, based under each preacher okay. and the years he was here. Okay. So if you got the preacher's name and a vague idea of close to the year that you might be looking for, yeah, we could draw it out and find it. That seems like a good way to say, well, I don't, I don't remember the year, but I know who the preacher was, oh, yeah. <laughs> and we can think through that. That's good. Yeah. Uh, I know that as we've taught the FCC 101 class that mm -hmm. we, we have a little bit of that that's about our church history mm -hmm. and seeing even the different um, eras from our building, yes. dif the shape, different shapes that our building has taken on through the years and then the total move here, that's an interesting part of it too. And you have some of those pictures and things yes, like that? Yes, we even have them uh, framed and put into the mm -hmm. cabinets with the glass 
front yeah. on it. And it's That's interesting neat. just look at things in there too. Yeah. Well, um, I, I'm sure people walk past it all the time and mm -hmm. don't peek in there, but um, we hope they will. We <laughs> and, um, encourage just come in. Uh, uh, I like to have the door open and yeah. everybody that wants to come in and return a book or get one off the shelf. Yeah. It's easy to find a book off the shelf because it's such a small library. Okay. And mm -hmm. it's kind of, well, it's the Dewey Decimal System, if you're familiar with mm. that. Yeah. And uh, you can usually browse and find what you want to read. Mm -hmm. and, but there is an inventory there written out. You can look through the book or yeah. you can get on the computer and look through if you're looking for Catalog. a specific book. Mm -hmm. Um, and I guess I'll say to everybody watching too to make sure you go in and not only check out what they have but then also uh, bring your suggestions to uh, the <laughs> library committee too so that they can purchase the books that you want. Yes. That ultimately that's the idea is there's have a, books that people want to read. There's <laughs> a piece of paper laying on the desk you just jot down the title of the book and mm -hmm. the author if you know it if you don't and we'll try to yeah. get it for you and I'd yeah. be happy to do that. Well. That's great. Mm -hmm. Well, I sincerely say thank you for what you do because we really do have a great library and we thank you for all the years that you've committed to make that possible. Well, thank you. Uh, yes, <laughs> the uh, secretary, Patsy mm -hmm. Coyne, that was there for 40 years, she mm -hmm. said there's so many people in town that's come in and told us that yeah. we had such a uh, non-reference, uh, mm -hmm. reference type books, yeah. non fiction books. Well, that's for the, anybody that's great. that wants to use it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's great. Well, thank you so much. Mm -hmm. thank well, you, we hope Jared. some people get involved thank and you, help Jared. you out. I do too. We <laughs> certainly need that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs>